oh, there's never any shortage of ideas. <laughs> that, that's the easy part. It's 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 making them into something that's uh, useful. It's the next step. Uh, but we 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 um and, and I think going back to that that listening part, so much inspiration comes from conversation. So much inspiration just comes from hearing people out and. And, you know, uh, this is where research uh, I've referred to a little bit and how it, it kind of makes everything the same. It, it, it can be something people hide behind and it's all they do. And it's really important. You've got to have the research toolbox done. Uh, and, and I think Steve Job made the, the fantastic um, you know, quote where he, he talks about the Apple iPhone would never have been born from research. It, 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 people don't know what they want in a lot of scenarios. Um, so, and whilst you get some nuggets from research, you need to go out there and talk to who your customer is. And I love standing when someone's about to purchase a product, asking, why are you purchasing it? Why, do you, why didn't you go for this one? And, and just hearing directly from them, it's a bit strange at first getting into those conversations, but you settle in, you work out a way to, to make it comfortable. And then also with the retailer who, who's looking and seeing and, 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 and is fundamental to selling your product um, and just listening to them. Some of our best ideas came from buyers um, at, at Chemist Warehouse, Coles, Woolworths, Terry White, all of those groups.